okay so let's solve this question which is a question number second in this video uh, let me rename it okay so question number two is highlight mean with red and max with green and other with the gray so this is one of the most frequently asked interview question uh, based on DAX in Power BI. So what does interview ask, ask is that uh, this is a column chart and the highest amount should be the bar with the highest amount should be green and the bar with the, the lowest amount should be red and other bar, other bar should be uh, formatted with gray color, right? So here United States is the is is having higher sales so this bar should be highlighted in green and canada is having the lowest sell so it should be highlighted with uh, red and other four bars should be highlighted with gray so this is the question related to the conditional formatting and that can be done with the text so how can you do that so uh, for for the time being what i'm gonna do i'm gonna convert it into the table visual to uh, make you understand more clearly so let's make it a table visual okay so country column is coming from sales territory to right this table sales territory to and uh, total sales is a sum of sales amount so let us write the measure how can you uh, how can we solve this new measure and let's name it conditional formatting okay so here i will declare a variable and first here i am interested in finding out like in my in the data that is present in the visual in the current context right uh, there are two columns country and the measure total sales uh, this two components is making up my visual right so within this data what is the maximum sales for uh, what is the highest sales right so uh, I'm gonna name this variable max sales so here I want so this is a, of course a table right so I want to iterate through this table and I want to find out like what is the highest value right so let's do that so I can make let's let's uh, uh, I can make use of max x text function so it lets us enter into the table right so what would be the my what would be my table uh, so here's a question what would be my table so table would be uh, like my table would be what the country column so I can introduce a virtual table here so firstly I need to remove the filters from the country column because uh, if I drag any measure in this uh, visual if I drag any uh, measure in this video uh, visual so what will happen this filter context will work right country has the filter context here that is why we are here able to show different sales value sales values is splitting up but we have to change the filter context here right we want to uh, ignore all the filters that is here uh, that is being introduced in the visual from the country column so for removing the vis uh, filters from a column i uh, we can make use of all dex function and i can pass the column country column which is of course coming from the cells territory too right so i so this would uh, this would return a table with all the values in a country column and now in the second argument i can make use of expression expression would be my total sales so this will find out for me what is the maximum amount irrespective of the any filters so let's return what is the max sales it is giving let's drag this okay so here you can see uh, it is ignoring the country filter because uh, he, uh, for this measure it will work of course we have not removed the filters but for the condition formatting we have removed this right so uh, the reason behind doing so is that we here need to compare like uh, in each row what row is matching with the maximum cells right so here there is a match right so further we can uh, define if statement and we can uh, tail power by like where total sales equals conditional formatting right a uh, total sales equal the max sales then uh, uh, you can uh, highlight it with the green color right so here there is a match and 
at in other rows there would be not any match right so uh, that is why we have done this similarly we will create another variable for the minimum cells because uh, we need to highlight the minimum bar with the red color so i will name it as mean cells similar to that i will copy this and i i will make use of a mean x text function uh, that will fetch us that will fetch the minimum value right so let's verify this as well whether it is giving the correct result or not minimum cell okay so here you can see the minimum cell is having canada and for each row it is giving me the minimum cells so that i can write the if condition so here there is a match so highlight the canada with the red color so yes we are almost uh, at the end of the solving this question what we can do next is return i can make use of a if statement and logical test would be if my total cells equals to max cells the variable that i've created above then give me green otherwise one more if condition if total cells is equal to minimum cells then give me red otherwise i can define else condition otherwise give me gray right let's close the parentheses and commit to this measure okay so let us see what it is getting uh, what does it return okay so for united states which is of course the highest cells green and for canada red and other are get, uh, other at other places i am getting gray color okay so now i can replace this green red and gray with the hex code so that i can make use of conditional formatting so i am already having the hex code for this so let's copy for green this is the hex code i'm gonna copy this and paste this similarly for red copy and for gray okay so let's convert it into the column chart again and yeah so here let us go to the columns and here i can make use of conditional formatting right this i can choose field value and i can here choose the measure that i've created okay so here's the magic right that uh, this is what we wanted united states is highlighted with green canada is having lowest cells which is red and others are gray so yeah this is all about the questions and uh, this is all about this video and guys if you like my content so please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos and share it with your friends family and other thank you so much i'll see you next video